It's that time. <laughs> Welcome to Roadmap. How to take three listings a week until you're ready for more. Each week we interview a great agent taking several listings, but this is the highlight show, season four highlights. All the good stuff. Yes, all the good stuff. And I've got a guest here with me today. Bring back Sarah Close. Many of you have met Sarah on the other highlight shows. Thanks for having me back. I'm glad you're I back. I love that I get to do yeah, these. This well, has been a blast. I don't know who else to pick. Well, I'm so glad it, you picked me. Okay, you have you have a real estate team. You've been doing this a long time. And long for time. many years, it was just you, you and a buyer agent, possibly, and mm -hmm. taking five, six, seven, eight listings a month for many years. Many years. Got this down and keeping most of the money. Yeah, for and real. Then, and then you went crazy and you bought offices. Yes. And yeah, I'm, uh, we had a and how many agents do you there. have now? Uh, we are all told just under 600. Just under 600 yeah. agents in Southern Ohio, Cincinnati, Dayton, mm -hmm. around Northern Kentucky yet? Uh, we have people that live in Northern Kentucky, but our footprint stays on this side and, of the river. And of course, so. Northern can you, uh, sell in Northern Kentucky. We do, Kentucky pretty absolutely, heavily. absolutely. And uh, so, okay, so on the, on the next season highlights, you'll have your Northern Kentucky office, right? <laughs> we'll we'll can, see about that. We'll be broadcasting <laughs> from the Kentucky <laughs> office on the next show. That's all great. good. Good. So anyway, so we've got some great season highlights from season four, some exciting material. If you guys, you know, and then you guys may want to go back and watch right. one or two or three of these, especially some of the ones that are along the lines of what you're interested in learning. You've got Using a good that, lineup today. I'm excited I about know. this. I, I think we've got some great stuff. In fact, let's Absolutely. take a look at the first one uh, from Chicago and, and north, northern okay. suburbs of Chicago and including Chicago. We have a great 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 agent sheila doyle all right let's go starting at she starts every day at 5 a.m oh wow a, a big part of that is to keep that consistency every day because i i begin my integrity right then and there if i wake up at the same time every day i'm doing what i committed to do mm -hmm. and that gets me to the office on time it gets me on my role play calls on time and it just keeps me focused on my goals. And there's not a lot of distractions at 6 and 7 a.m. Pardon me? Not many distractions at 6 and 7 a.m. No, not at all. And, and, and it's the consistency, and you've always had right. that. And agents that are highly successful, we see that consistency. Every day, you know, it's, what is it, the first part of the day. Uh, basically, following the same schedule five right. days a week, from the time you get up till noon. Right, it's your energy plan. It's your personal energy plan. It's your yeah. business energy plan. And yeah. when you let that power of habit pull you through that, it's one less thing that you need to use willpower for. So she's already set up. By the time she gets her day rolling, she doesn't have any decisions to make. She right. can just get right after it. It's it makes inertia. a huge it difference. pulls her through it. For sure. And then the fun part, and this is something we see with the strongest agents, mm -hmm. They'll have listing appointments at two and four, or right. one and three, or three. In her case, three o'clock and five o'clock. So she keeps that fixed time block right. every day. Now, some of you are saying, I can't do that because they want to meet me. They don't get home till 6.30 and 7. And I have a lot of eight o'clock listing appointments. Folks, it's a mindset. Right. It's a mindset. In fact, let's watch the second piece from her. Great. It's a mindset issue, Ren. Yeah. Uh, because what happens is, if you put in your schedule, listing appointment at three and listing appointment at five, you're going to fill those slots. And, and it's, and, and it's being strong. Right. I, I you know, mine was four and six because mm -hmm. I was weak. She's stronger. <laughs> three, three and five is stronger, mm -hmm. you know, because more during have, the work day. Right. And are you going to rarely have one at seven? Yes, but sure. it will be rare. And if you're strong and say, well, I have three o'clock, which would be better for you uh, Thursday at three or would five be better? Right. And then, you know, you have to say something along the lines of, you know, they go, well, I don't get home till six and just say, well, could we pick, is there a day this week where sure. you could come home? Because think about it, folks. How many, most people, do they go to their dentist at 2.30? 2.30? Yes, 2.30. They <laughs> do. so bad. <laughs> they do that. So they have that flexibility. They do. That's true. I That's know. true. The other thing that happens when you take a listing appointment that late in the day, especially when you're operating with the schedule the way that she is, you're done by that time of day. Right. You know, if it's, you know, you're not going to have your most, you know, energy laden appointment that you could have had 
um, if you're you're doing that on the tail end of the day when you're exhausted. Right. If you're stretching your day out 14 hours, right. it's not fair to your family or your kids. And when they look through the family pictures over the years, it's just you with a phone to your head. Yeah, and it's not Is that it's really not what you want it to look like? Yeah, no. it's not sustainable. Yeah, right. So take that control. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. fantastic. Good. We're going to head back to Cincinnati. All right. One of your top agents in that one. Awesome. It's a team, Marianne and Steve. Oh, they're they, fantastic. They run... They run a huge business. Yeah, they, they make, really do. They make a lot of money, and mm -hmm. I was able to persuade Marianne to come in. And oh, fantastic. Play. And she starts at 530 she does. as well. She does. Fills her head with exercise and motivational videos and gets all her lead generation out of the way mm -hmm. by, by 10, 1030, That's 11. fantastic. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay. I can understand how people have things that go on in the morning that keep them from doing this, but my schedule now is my alarm goes off at 5.15 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and 5.30 on um, Tuesday and Thursday, and I get up, I go work out. That workout is all about mindset. I listen to um, morning motivational videos, uh, books, whatever it is to get my head in the right place every morning and then you know, get rolling early because if you can get your prospecting done by 10, the rest of the day is always better. <laughs> Good. Catch those fish early. Yes. Early bird gets the worm. So is there a schedule where you can, is there a schedule where people can get, and it sounds like all, if you're going to lead generate, if you're going to prospect, you got to do it first thing or else it ain't going to happen. Is that well, some people actually, say, I can do it at night or I can fit it in here and there. Is that realistic? It, you can. It just takes all day and it sucks the life out of you. Yeah. I mean, you can like make a few calls in the morning, make a few calls after lunch, make a few calls in the evening, but then it feels like you're doing nothing but working all the time. And that's certainly not what I want to do. Absolutely. Yeah, so getting it out of the way early. Well, it's that yeah. idea that willpower is not on will call. And if you get rubbed up to get it done, get it all done. And then have the rest of the day is gravy. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And, and one of your uh, company, uh, Gary Keller from your mm -hmm. Keller Williams, you know, he always said, eat your vegetables first. Get yep. that lead generation done. Absolutely. The yeah. The early, rest of the day is gravy. Early on. Yeah. And then just, because you know, it makes, that's the fuel in the, that's the fuel. Yeah. That is the fuel. Makes uh, a lot of sense. It's the, it's the, it is the difference. The other thing about that I admire about Marianne Reese so much, the same thing with Sheila Doyle is, is that, that leadership, you know, mm -hmm. she may very well have three and five o'clock listing appointments too. She's like, this is what we're going to do. Right. She leads the buyers. She leads the sellers. People want to be led. People want an expert. Absolutely. Somebody's got to lead. Somebody's got to follow. Right. That's well, let's, let's, let's face it. You know, every for sale by owner says, boy, there's nothing that you, you do that I can't do. And so it, it absolutely follows logically that if someone is going to be hiring a professional, it's because they want to be directed in how to do something the right way. Yeah. And if as an agent, you're not bringing that direction and that leadership, that's when you have those folks that say, well, why would I hire an agent? They don't do anything anyway. The really top agents, the ones that are in demand and that are doing all the volume are the ones that are leading their clients and are explaining them what the expectations to be and then making sure those expectations are met. And it yeah. starts with a listing appointment. Yeah, unwavering conviction. Think about it, folks. Price reduction, setting the price right. right. Do you want, nobody likes to stand in the tension of that. And if we do it, we demonstrate at the very beginning yeah, the leadership absolutely. role that is so necessary to get these homes sold. Yeah, they do a fantastic job with that. They do. They really do. They really do. Good. We're going to look at specialties because there are a lot of niche parts of our business. Mm -hmm. There's new construction. There's luxury. There's all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. One of the categories is probate. And oh, yeah. we offer probate data and a company, alltheleads.com, offers uh, guidance on specific services that you can offer uh, to someone that has... You know, those people are dying to list. You know, somebody's passed away, and yeah, there we go. So, uh, uh, <laughs> someone's passed away, and there's real property for sale. So we're going right. to uh, look at a little role play that uh, right. Joe Ring from Naples, Florida. Uh, there's a good price point. Yeah, there sure. is a good price point. Um, uh, and a good temperature there. <laughs> as we look out at the gray skies here today. So <laughs> yes, nice someone's doing it right. Sunny Cincinnati. Okay, so... Uh, Let's take a look uh, at this role play that Joe Ring does on probate. Okay. Speaking, hi, Mr. Smith. I'm calling about your probate case, and I first would like to offer my condolences. I'm Joe Ring from Coldwell Banker, and I have one simple question for you. Do you have any real property to sell for the estate? 
in the I do, I do. I have a condo. A condo. Well, terrific. May, see, may I share with you my process for working with executors? Sure. Well, I, I would first like to get access into your, your condo to determine two things. What needs to be done to exactly get it sold? Um, number two, while I'm there, I'll determine a price point and I'll prepare you up an aggressive marketing plan and at what price your home will sell at. Number three, I think I will send you out that information in the VIP package. And mm -hmm. four, we'd set a time for a listing presentation. With all that fine with you, I'd like to get started. It's going to be as simple as that. Yeah. And he has a very specific uh, vendors and services that are specific to that industry. You know, and there is no, there's almost no competition, folks. He, his number one competitor are investors who want to buy it below 20%, you know, 20% below market investors. Now, that's an easy one to handle sure. that objection if you get in there early. Right. You know, because you're going to save them 20% right out of the yeah. gate. So if you can get in there, you're not going to find other agents doing it. Sure. They should. Right. I mean, there's a lot of probate sales every year. Yeah. And there's a couple ways you do it. You go to straight to the executor or you go to, and it worked well for me, you go to uh, people that specialize in estates. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what they do, probate and trusts, and, and uh, they manage that. Those, those attorneys mm -hmm. uh, handle that. And if they, a lot of times will recommend you sure. several times through the year. Right. Know. And they need a skilled agent that can right. help them button up that file more quickly. Right. So it's a gold Makes a lot of sense. Go back and watch that one. That was season four, episode four. You're going to want to watch that and learn a little bit more and 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 add an extra sale a month from that category. That'd be That's great. One great one. Yeah. That's good. That's fantastic. Perfect. Who do we have next? Who do we have? We have uh, from Salt Lake City. And We're I, just uh, jetting all over the place here we, today. We are. It's all good. We are. Um, is, uh, he, he makes it look easy. He's making like 650000 a year in income. And he just keeps it simple, but I'll tell you his secret while you're watching this is his, he was talking to 35 people every day, five days a week, five, five days a week, and he raised that to 43. It's as simple as that. Now, 43 is simple, but not easy. Right. That's, that's intense. But it's every but it, day. Yeah. It's every day, five days a week, every day. But he makes it look easy. So in fact, what we did, we did a role play. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, let's have a look. Great. Well, Carly, I called it this morning because I specialize in selling homes that didn't sell. Oh. And over the time that I've been selling real estate for 13 years, we've sold a lot of homes that didn't sell before. Okay. Oftentimes it means just getting it back on the market with a more aggressive approach. Now, are you open to professional advice? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah? Okay. Well, hey, I, I wouldn't mind popping by and taking a look at your home, seeing exactly why it didn't sell and what it would take to sell. I've got some time. Today, I could swing by at 4 or at 5.30. Which would work for you? What would you do different than my agent that I worked with this last time? Yeah, that's a great question. And I don't know exactly what was done. Oh. Um, but what I do know is what it'll take to sell the home today. Uh -huh. So, so far this year, while your house was on the market for six months, I sold 20, 23 other of my listings. Wouldn't that be great? That would be awesome. Yeah. Well, why don't I pop by? No pressure. Uh, does 4 or 5.30 work better for you? We could do 4 o'clock, I guess, if we're going to be in the neighborhood. Okay, great. And then I typically prequal right then. Very simple. It's very simple, and it's mm -hmm. not easy. You've been doing it because mm -hmm. most of your career was, you know, doing what he does, making a, 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 a huge income while just making those calls right. that, because it's so easy to, after about nine calls, going, well... I got to go work on this. Right. And so, I mean, the voices in our head. Sure. Creative distraction. <laughs> yeah. Creative avoidance behavior. Coffee. Yeah. You know, right. All the, all the distractions. What's interesting, though, about his script that I think is really effective is that he is following a script, but he's so conversational. Yeah. It was he so was, easy. He was just in the area, you yeah, know, and she playful. walked right into it. What if I pop, pop yeah, over? Yeah. It's a pop by. Yeah. Yeah. Pop over. No, that's, it's fantastic. It's just time on task over time. I know. You know so don't overcomplicate. Yeah, a lot of it, you think you need all these complicated systems, folks. It's it's very sure. it's it's simple if you have the strength to get through the number of contacts. Mm -hmm. I would challenge everybody if they did thirty contacts a day, five days a week, and had a conversation 
with 30 people, not not attempts, but contacts, right. that your income would be, I mean, that'll make you well in a hurry. Well, it's very interesting because one of the training programs that we run at our firm is a seven-week training program, and part of that curriculum is that the participants are making 20 contacts a week, mm -hmm. and without question, the numbers have repeated themselves every single time. On average, folks are doing 14 transactions during that time frame, and that's so significantly higher than what is typically done, and it's that type of consistency that he's demonstrating that it, yeah. that's the secret sauce, if yeah. you will. Well, it's like that... that uh that was it, an old Roman guy, you know, he's a realtor back in Roman days, uh, Pythagoras. Mm -hmm. And Pythagoras said, take the road that's best no matter how rough, and soon it becomes easy and agreeable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Pythagoras is right. You know, it, if you do it enough, you know, after a while, and, yeah. I mean, it's second nature to you. Yeah, don't think a thing second about it. Second nature to him. Yeah. But I got to tell you, day one, day two, day three it is rough. It feels awful. Day four, five, and six feels rough. Month number two and three still feel rough. Mm -hmm. If you can get on the, I mean, what a, let's, in fact, we're going to have some fun because our next guest is, is you know, is making a huge income mm -hmm. and having a, so much fun. So, so if you want to get to the other side, folks, uh, let's go visit uh, from the Bay Area. Oh, wow. Uh, making $4 million a year in commissions. Wow. Now, that is a volume. Yeah. It's $4 million in commissions. Mr. Alex Lair. Oh, fantastic. You can't see it in my office, but I see right there, that's a flow chart, everything that happens in our business. And then over on that wall, is the that's the back edge of the calendar, and that's the year ahead. So this is this year all the way up through December 31st. I can tell you every day where I'll be, what days I'll be off, and then uh, then all the way into next year, we'll have that already planned by the end of November. All of next year will be laid out. I'll know where I'll be, what days I'll be. And then I have floater time in there, too. Because, again, my wife and I like to play a game called the Yes Game. So if people contact us and say, hey, we're, we're going this, you want to take a trip for a day or two or whatever it is, we have floater time in there that we can go say yes to. Because we want to, you know, when my life flashes before my eyes one day, I want it to take a while. That's awesome. <laughs> I want it to take I a while. I like it. When my life flashes yeah, for me. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to borrow that. Alex has so much fun, and he's been doing this at, at, at such a high level. Uh, with prospecting and talking to people, and it, it's a very simple business, but $4 million, I realize their price point's a little higher there. That's okay. But that's not bad. That's in real dollar. No. That is, that's, that's a wonderful life. You know, Some good walking around money. And playing the yes game. Yeah. You, you know, what more could you want? You know, he said one time, he uh, was chatting with us, and he said, he goes, you know, it's all mindset. He goes, you have to take the word to, T-O-O, -O, out of your vocabulary. I'm too tired, I'm too oh, old, okay. I'm too young, I'm too this, I'm too that, I'm too big, too, too, too you know, whatever. You, you've got you, no excuses. You just, are enough. Just, you, right. That's just awesome. Perfect. So the yes game is kind of fun. He I like it. This is a guy that lives big, you know. They'll be like, you want to go to Monaco? Oh, sure. Sure, yes. Yeah, so, in fact, let's watch this second clip. Okay. So for me, either it's a hell yeah or it's a no. <laughs> Somebody says, hey, do you want to do something? I'm like, either, and I think about it for a minute. I go, I go, hell yeah, I want to do that. So as soon as I say, hell yeah, it's yes. Then it's like, you're going. So I got a buddy of mine that just said, hey, you want to go race in Africa in 2020? And he goes, want to go race motorcycles in Africa? I go, set the date, I'm going. That's awesome. I know, did you see that motorcycle on yeah, the back? Yeah, that's now, pretty cool. One last secret I didn't share. He works three weeks every month. Oh, very interesting. Plenty of play time. Yeah. So you can look how effective you would be if you're working only three weeks a month. You'd probably get a lot done. You would because you knew that there was something to look forward to. Yeah. I think when we don't have that place held in our calendar because we don't believe that we deserve that time off, yeah. we never are going to deserve it because we're never going to work at such a level where we can get it. Right. It's the chicken or the egg. You don't For deserve sure. that time off, so you don't take that time off. You don't get anything done, so you right. don't deserve the time off. Exactly. Again. Vicious uh, cycle. You just have to, you Fastest know. way out of the business. I know. I know. We see that. Yeah. All the time. Yes. Yes, indeed. Well, let's visit somebody that's newer in okay. the business, and it's like his uh, third year. Wow. He's taking five, uh, doing five or six sales a month. That's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, doing pretty well for, the, uh, like, year three. Absolutely. And he's up in Michigan, a little okay. area called Jackson, Michigan, Irish Hills area, if you guys are familiar with that. And, you know, his whole, all his attention is put on what are the other top producers doing and using the copycat principle. Mr. Tim Creech. All right.
happen. Cause I know that's been one of the things that's helped me increase my productivity is getting the mindset by just watching what other high performing agents are doing and using that as a tool to say, well, gosh, if, if they could do it, if Bernie's doing this or if Kathy Welch is doing this or some of the other fine people you've had on the show is they are doing these kinds of things. Why, why can't I do it? That's it. Yep. It's just that copycat principle. You will get similar results. Sure. You know, I mean, if you're comparing yourself against somebody that's been doing it 20 years, they have a database they're pulling from as well. Right. But you're going to get that initial, all the, because there's the two groups of people, you know, the people you know and the people you don't know. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, that sounds very Mike Fury, I believe. Yes. And, <laughs> yes. The people, and and what, what is the statement after that? Which group is larger? Yeah. Right. right. So they're working that group of people that you don't know. Right. And right out of the gate, making a heck of a lot of money because right. these top performers are not just working their database. I can tell you that. Right. It's not just the database. Yeah. Because you wouldn't make that much. No. So, for sure. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. That's a pretty impressive third yeah. year. So we've always encouraged people to go shadow. Mm -hmm. You'll. 19 out of 20, if you, unless they're in your market, if you mm -hmm. talk to somebody as a top producer doing it the way you'd like to do it, living the kind of life, so make sure they're working hard and playing hard and having a right. life. Right, who you want to emulate. Yeah. Who do you want, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ask to shadow, you know, get there great the afternoon, evening before, have dinner with them if they're available, get there first thing in the morning, follow them till noon, take a lot of notes, record what they say, go to lunch and head back home. Yeah. That's great. I mean, my gosh, your business will shoot up like that. You know what? And the neat thing is, is theirs does as well, because they're going to have a yeah. great day preparing for you, and they're going to get a lot out of it, too. I had, uh, you know, over many years, I had people come and shadow, mm -hmm. and I always loved it because I had to do what I was supposed to do. Yep. You know, like, <laughs> well, I got somebody coming in to shadow. Yeah, I better be on it today. Yeah, yeah. I will. I'm gonna Everybody really, wins. I'm going to show them a good time. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to be powerful with this person. That's awesome. Yeah, because repetition boredom can set in. And yes, that, it can. Having that person... Right. Uh, the show-off factor, it's mm -hmm. called. It's called the show-off factor. It's effective. Yeah, it works. <laughs> it works. Good deal. So uh, we have... Where are we going now? We're going back to... Because uh, uh, you're with Keller Williams. Keller Williams. All right. In fact, I'm going to ask you if this sounds... Because uh, you're at that stage where you've been doing this so long, you're building... Have a little bit of a, a team, and you've mm -hmm. got some Got some leverage in there, and, yeah. And uh, this great agent, she has a similar situation in mm -hmm. her... Her uh, warm-up for the day sounds very similar. Oh, does it? <laughs> yes. Her name is Erin Caraway. She is in uh, San Antonio, Central Texas area. The goal for sales for 2019, 250. Wow, that's awesome. Yes. Let's watch Erin. Okay. So we know that being successful in this business requires us to have a very consistent routine and a very consistent schedule in the morning. Um, and that includes myself as well as the agents. And so every morning we start power up, which is uh, where the entire team gets together at 830 in the morning. Uh, we do uh, our, we share our one gratitude for the day, uh, what our one goal is to accomplish that day in our business. And then also we do 15 minutes of script practice. So we partner up, we script practice together for 15 minutes. And this also includes the operations staff. So it is the entire team coming together. And then uh, we, one of the leaders in the room will provide um, a lesson on leadership or some sort of inspiration for the day. And then at nine o'clock, myself and the agents are on the phone and we're lead generating till about 1130. And then from 11.30 to 12, uh, we're putting in any new leads that we uh, have received for the day, uh, making sure that all of our follow-up is complete. Um, and then at noon, really the agents are on their own for what happens in their schedule the rest of the day. That easy. That, 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 right, and, and that warm-up is so critical, mm -hmm. the energy, whether you're doing it yourself like Marianne Reese, right. or Marianne and Steve getting, you know, getting, or if you're doing it as a collective, mm -hmm. either one, that, that ritual, getting right. warmed up and getting on the phone. Yeah. When you know someone's there waiting for you yeah. when you're heading to the office. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, get, you'll meet people. You just the get there faster. You, you'll, you'll, <laughs> right. You'll, you'll meet other people there faster than you will meet uh, yeah. your Yeah. It's like going to the gym. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's same, same, same applies. Perfect parallel. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so you know. The structure is really important, the mm -hmm. routines, the morning routine. Having a perfect, because, you know, when you look at it, you know, from the time you get up till 
11 30 12 when you stop lead generation mm -hmm. you know it, you can control that right now the afternoon may be what you took three new listings maybe the afternoon is you have three new pendings right maybe you have three new three closings you know the afternoon can be a little screwy right but you can control from the moment you wake up until you go to lunch right every i mean anything can wait five days time. a week you know that's 20 21 business days a, a month, month. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you're going to take three, four, five weeks vacation. You know, so you know it's it's we're not asking that much. Yeah, yeah, half a day yeah. of yeah. schedule. And there's all the money. Yeah, yeah, makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah. And it feels good to go home when you're right. done. Right, right. Did right. what you're supposed to do. And right. Yeah, the gratifying It'll stuff. Show up. The more gratifying stuff happens in the afternoon. Absolutely. So you get that stuff done, then you go to lunch. You return calls 11:30. Go to lunch. Absolutely. And then on with the rest of the day. Yeah, makes good. a lot of sense. So our last guest, okay. so I saved the last, best for last. This is a guy I met um, at an event about four or five years mm -hmm. ago. And I had met you know, over 100 people and stuck in my mind, mainly from the energy. This guy is always Big on energy showtime. Footprint. <laughs> this guy is always on showtime. And if you're looking at the copycat principle, look at the showtime. Element here? Element. All right. Element. I mean, he's amazing. Uh, he does a little warm up just like Aaron does as well with his team. He's at a point now where, yeah, I mean, he's he's going on, he's going on eight or nine listing appointments a week and taking six or seven wow. uh, listings each week. That's week, awesome. Each week, each week, which is kind of fun. Let's let's take a look at his little uh, discussion of Showtime. So from Chicago, Illinois, uh, Mr. James Matt. Fantastic. When you're on stage, you have to look the part. And so I overwhelm them with my presence the moment they open the door. The first thing they see is this tall black guy that's dressed to the dozens. And of course, my movement with them as I walk through the door and the way that I greet them, I'm very personable. And if they have any level of uncomfort, I break it down right there with my smile, the way that I shake their hand, and the way that I look into their eyes and deep into their soul, because I want them to understand that they're about to experience something that they never have. And I, and, and I do that on purpose, because I want them to feel, not only hear me, but I want them to feel me and I want them to be comfortable because people do business with people that they're comfortable with. And so my whole presentation is one of being prepared, making them extremely comfortable. And by the time that I leave that table, they feel that I'm part of the family. And he's intense. And you know, this he video is clip isn't fair because in person, He's yeah. amazing, you know, with his laptop and his setup there. He's looking down like this, and this camera's here. But that's just the way it's set up here. He is, I mean, it's nothing less than spectacular. Well, when you hear him go through all of the elements that he has thought out, mm -hmm. there's no way that it isn't. Yeah, and, it, and and every to be fair, a lot of you out there can do just that and practice it and practice it and practice it. And when I'm talking about practicing it, and we've, you know, we have agents that do this, you set up a video camera, so easy mm -hmm. to do, or your cell phone on a, a, you can buy those little cell phone tripods, yeah. mount that, and then have a doorway, and somebody is the seller, I'm excited to get your home on the market and get it sold. Right. Take a quick look at the home, blah, 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 you know, and, and go through work it. it and, Role play that over and 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 get your yeah. energy, get your energy to where you're building rapport, make them feel comfortable, but they realize there's something electric going on. Exactly. And he has that presentation so locked down that he can really focus on what mm -hmm. he's doing with his body and his voice and his mind and on the person so that he can get that energy response he's looking for. Yeah. It's really cool. And he does a lot with tonality on the last show. Remember he said so passionately, he goes, I am in the rejection business. <laughs> That's <laughs> it was, awesome. It's kind of fun because yeah, he loves to get on the phone and call people yep. and set appointments. One step closer. It is a lot of fun. But I, I do have a second, um, second clip okay. because it's kind of fun. I mean, really, before he even gets started, he's already closed them. All right. They already know that this is somebody different, and I think we should be paying attention. Very so cool. So he already closes them. Our last clip. 
when I go and sit at the table um, of, of the majority of my sellers, I literally blow them away. They tell me that they have never seen a presentation. They have never witnessed um, the analysis. They have never, and, and really I'm not doing anything different. It's just that I'm intentional in my presentation, my presence, and I'm leveraging it in a way because I am acting. And I'm on, I'm on stage. You know, I'm on, the cameras is on. And, and I try to give an Academy Award winning performance every time. He's passionate. He has conviction. It, it works. And all of these things, folks, practice, practice, practice. Think about it. Most real estate agents in their career probably practice no more than an hour in their whole career. Mm -hmm. What if you did that? What if you did that uh, every day? I remember a guy... Uh, or was he? Apple Valley, California. He practiced one to two hours every day, his listing presentation, every day for the first couple of years in business. Yeah. To, to spend an hour doing that every day? Yeah. That's the yeah. primary craft, got to have it down. Exactly. So, you know. That's pretty cool. Folks, we have more control. I mean, you're not going to find another industry. I remember one time you said, you know, I think you told me this, you, you were looking around, at, where else can I make a whole lot of money besides real estate? And you looked around and I think you came back with, uh, Kind of nowhere. Nothing else. <laughs> it's the only business, you know that show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the only show where you can be a millionaire every year, you can make another million, then another yeah. million. Where else can you do that with that? I mean, even if you went to med school, there's eight years of school plus, yeah. you're not going to make a million dollars a year. No, it is, it is the best possible yeah. field for an entrepreneur to be in, hands right. down, in my opinion. And you have to use the copycat principle. Yep. Yep. Make a new mistake, not yeah. an old one. Yeah, that's it. That's it, right? That's it. Yeah, let's. These guys yeah. were awesome today. I think we had a good group. I, I could really not did. could not agree more. Right. You know, and and we simulcast this show. I've got to thank Aaron Wittenstein for airing this on uh, his Facebook group because we have, you know, this usually gets watched by anywhere from eight hundred to fifteen hundred people over the next couple of weeks mm -hmm. on his uh, on his. Um, his uh, Facebook group? He's got, yeah, he's got like 52,000 people on there. Wow. And, and, and that's the lead generation yeah, one? Yeah, it's, uh, you go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash got objections. That's awesome. And he runs a little program called trajectorynow.com if you want to check that out too. But join that. It's all about lead gen. It's a great group. So I want to thank him for simulcasting the show. Very a lot cool. of people watch it on the bulk of the yeah. seven, 7 network. And then we're on YouTube as well. So we're we're out there. So share this around, and then, uh, oh, yeah, we got to pay the bills. We have our sponsor. Oh, right? yeah, so, we do. So if you are listing property, you know, there's Superman and Kryptonite. So what is there? There's, uh, you know, you, the power, the secret power that nobody knows. Uh, yeah, it's not Kryptonite. I think that works in reverse, <laughs> doesn't it? I think it uh, does. But the, yeah. secret, the secret for listing agents that most of them don't tell you, but this is the only show where you get the truth, is they all enjoy delicious Grater's Mint chocolate chip. <laughs> if you go to graters.com, you can find it locally in your store anywhere in North America. If you go there, it will tell you what store has it, and go get some. Make sure it's mint chocolate chip. The other flavors, and they have that black raspberry and all that. Those oh, are for so buyers. Good. Those are for working <laughs> buyers. Buyers take time, listings take skill. Be on the listing side of the business, and if the listing is slow to sell for some reason, because you weren't strong enough to price it. Dig a hole in the front yard. <laughs> you were going to say that. <laughs> dig a hole in the front yard and bury it upside down, and the listing will sell just like oh, that. Oh, dear. Just like that. All right. Thanks again. <laughs> Glad you could be here for the season four highlights, and uh, look forward to you on next week on our next show in season five. See you then. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.